and always a reminder for myself and I have the qurajis of da'if or miskeen or zal and mujahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us this path of rahmah and mercy and that gave us a life in which to enter the holy month of Rajab and Tarul Ajab, immense, uh, immense things happen in Rajab and inshaAllah Allah's rahmah and mercy the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad be upon the people of Turkey that uh, they carry immense importance in the Muhammadan nation and for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and many alamat, many signs of days of difficulty. And Rajab is always a month in which many strange occurrences and alhamdulillah that Allah love upon the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and that we pray the people who are in immense difficulty Allah grant them najat and salvation, grant them an ease. Those whom are trapped grant them a najat and salvation. Those whom died as shaheed and martyrdom that Allah resurrect them under the shadow of Sayyidina Muhammad and that for everyone in difficulty Allah grant a relief and the immense hardships, immense sadness and that we owe, owe our support and that this is a time and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In which we come together to give support, we gather our support through our charities so that the people can take their deduction and then we send the money to the organizations that have been recommended in Turkey. We can gather some socks and blankets but that's more for play. People need money, they need to buy what they have right there locally and it's a matter of a wire coming into their accounts, charity accounts and they will locally source everything by the time people try to buy blankets and socks and towels, this is you know, this is just for entertainment. What they need is money right away to go buy the food supplies and from government sources they'll outsource that from where they need and, and to buy emergency uh, supplies for the people whom are suffering, have no food, no shelter. So inshaAllah Allah write for all of us whom help and support that to take this grief and sadness away and that our families be protected from these immense difficulties. That in these two regions, one region where is Dajjal's territory, Allah's punishment come upon the heads of these people 
and the region in which is Dajjal's enemy and azab of Dajjal coming upon people. And this was not from heavens but this was from Dajjal and his equipment, his use of modification of uh, events, modification of weather, modification. All of what Prophet described for us that Dajjal will come and bring rain to areas where there is no water and will resurrect the dead and bring your dead parents to come to talk to you. We see this in the technologies that they're introducing and that the shaking of earth, the identifying of earth, everything has to do with energy. And at the same time only Allah are trying to teach people based on energy that people have to open their heart and their minds. Closed mind, square-headed people they limit what Allah wants for people to understand. That when you begin to understand based on energy and understanding vibrations and frequencies, everything that's been talked about in the associations and our associations that hopefully Allah don't count us among square-headed people whom don't want to open their hearts, everything's an energy, everything's a frequency. If you raise the frequency you can shatter the ignorance. If you lower your frequency by your mind, by what you hear, by what you think, all of these variables lower the frequency of people. When you open your mind and open your heart, <coughs> you open up the receptacle to understand. Then you begin to practice what's being taught, you begin to understand that energy is very real. The amount of positive energy that one can bring can shatter and quake all of the falsehood within someone. When they study that and practice and learn that understanding, they understand that the satanic energy inside, the evil energy inside, the bad energy inside that is continuously being sent. So now learn the inside and you'll understand what's happening outside. The same teaching of Dajjal sending frequencies inside you, sending frequencies inside your mind. Sending frequencies inside your heart, sending frequencies inside your, your entire wujud and all your atoms and cells by his music, by his TV, by all of what he's propagating of what Prophet told us. These are frequencies. So they have frequency devices, what we call television, what we call radio, radio signals electromagnetic signals and frequencies, all of these, even the music and sounds that they play. You know the devices that are made at 2.5 megahertz and 5 megahertz, they're designed to destroy the brain signal. They could have made them at other signal frequencies but they understood the brain and cellular frequency as a result they design these technologies so that every time you turn them on and turn microwave on, turn some sort of electronic device on, the frequency in which those devices operate are designed to destroy the cellular level of enzyme, to weaken them and destroy them, to bring them down. Like what we're seeing of earthquakes, humanity is quaking inside. Every time they turn on these devices, everything shatters inside, every sickness comes inside, every cellular level becomes weakened and diseased. That when the cells of insan and the inner energy of people, their core energy, is continuously bombarded by a device or devices 
So that you come to the realization, yes I am under an attack. Every device around me is attacking my cellular energy, my soul energy, my entire being. And to counter that you can't run to the bushes and you can't email us that people are listening to you in your head because this resonates with a lot of people who are already a little bit off in left field. But the counter for this is to build your own energy. That's why when you meditate, you contemplate, you do your namaz, you do everything that Allah asked of us, all of what Prophet brought for us, your wudu, your taweez, all of your inner armour and your outer armour. The armour for the believer is wudu. Prophet described that the armour for a believer is wudu, means that they keep their, their energy clean, wudu from their blood, from what they eat and what they drink and what they pray over to sanctify and purify, then their energy practice outside that they wash, they're clean, they keep their character to be clean. They do their energy practices, they have their taweez, they have all that what Allah has given to them inside outside. Then they begin to practice their energy practices and building their connection, building their relationship with those whom are connected. And as a result they begin to shield themselves. So when we shield ourselves as these energies are coming to quake and to destroy insan, then the amount of energy practices and all of that what you are building, you're countering their shaking, you're countering their frequency attack and building the shield of truth around your, your being. Your being and that's why we described the night before your children because they don't know madad, they came into the world in purity, they came on the tawakkul and reliance of Allah that they would be placed in homes with people whom cared not only about their physicality but their spirituality. And as a result of their love which is madad that those parents would have practiced and would have built a shield of protection around the family and around the home. Not only a shield of finance and food and shelter but spiritual. So that was the whole series of those talks on energy and the importance of energy. So that when that dajjal attack and everything around us we see are frequency devices meant to destroy us. And that's just the game of the world. So you don't become anti-social but you recognize the dangers of these devices. You have to live with them, work with them and at the same time you then have to build ourselves. Just like in material world talking about, oh look at the food, all this food is bad, all this food has corn syrup and then they counter by eating healthy. Does it make them to be renegades but to be aware? An awareness of an energy and how energy is depleting and destroying humanity then opens for you an awareness on how to build your energy, how to develop your energy, how to sanctify one's energy so that the quaking and shaking doesn't utterly destroy and shatter us. Then we look to the outside so that each individual on this entire dunya should know that they're under attack. And that whatever they're doing to build and to protect themselves as a result of protecting themselves, just like an adult thinks that the child doesn't know if an earthquake is going to come, so you should have supplies, you should have emergency supplies, you should have food supplies, you should have power supplies. You should always have shoes and, and, and uh, sweatshirt and pants by the door to put your shoes and run. 
And this is you know 30, 40 years of training they say the same thing all the time. And as the child is relying on the parent to have made those choices then at the same time they're relying upon our spiritual practices. That we made the connection, we built our spiritual connections, we build our spiritual practices and that we're ever present and ever aware of a continuous quaking against our physicality and spirituality. And then comes the holy month of Rajab and you see the immensity of the atrocities that are happening upon this earth. And that's, that's an attack of energy that these energy understandings, that these vibrations that are sent they're sent upon the earth to make the earth to quake, to make the earth to convulse. So whatever is happening is happening. And for those to be aware that the, the difficulties of these days and the difficulties of everything around us is to live a life of preparedness. That in the event of any type of hardship, a storm, an attack, an earthquake is to have supplies, to, to live a life of preparedness, to have a bag in which you can grab as you grab your shoes like a fireman and put on decent pants, decent uh, sweatshirt to run so that you're in a safe proximity, safe location. And all that we can say by tongue is that in these lands in which they are not happy with Muslims they are now the focus of Dajjal and Dajjal's technology and that whatever they're planning to do Allah plans within their plan. That these events have set forth many events that will become quickly coming into this earth. We pray that Allah keep us amongst those whom are protected, those whom are under Allah's shield of protection to be with intention that why Allah to protect us? Is that we're asking specifically, Ya Rabbi please keep us to be protected so that we can be with Sayyidina Mahdi It's the only reason for Allah to keep us otherwise the goal was to return to paradise, to return home as shaheed. But Ya Rabbi if we're not going to be going to paradise and shaheed right now grant us to be with Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam, to be supporters of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam and to have a purpose for our days upon this earth. So we have Surah Tawbah which is from these gates of reality verse 51, inshaAllah daily to recite this that as many times as you want to recite 951 that is under the nazar of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam and asking Ya Rabbi grant us to be with Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam, Qulana Yusibana wa Kataabullahu Lana. Read the rest here. Kul man yusibana illa man kadaballahu yeah. nana huwa maulana fa ala allahu fa'ala tawakkal. 51. 951. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kul lana. Bismillah ar-Rahman Kul. قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا قَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ تَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Inshallah in the English here. Let me get my phone so you don't take too long. (coughs) 
nothing will ever befall us except what Allah has destined for us. He is our protector. So in Allah, let the believers put their trust. Amen. Sadaqallah Azeem wa barakta Rasulul Kareem. InshaAllah we can recite uh, at least once a day, uh, as many times as you want throughout the day. So that's 9 Surah, Surah Tawbah and verse 51. <clears throat> Qulana, what did you say was? Musibana illa ma katab Allah lana huwa maulana wa ala Allah falyatawakkal al-mu'minun Qulana yusibana InshaAllah Allah by power of this holy verse that in the hands of Sayyidina Mahdi that whom Allah has destined to be with Sayyidina Mahdi and serves the purpose of being with Sayyidina Mahdi to be protected by Ayat al Kareem and that to recite that daily and as much as they want throughout the day but at least one time a day so that to be a dress of protection that, Ya Rabbi whatever going to be coming. Imagine a people sitting thinking everything alhamdulillah is fantastic, sitting with all their children, living room and by 4 o'clock in the morning a.m. life changed and tens of thousands have been killed. And you know buildings that were built, probably criminal contractors that built not according to any codes that was enough for everything to come down like powder. So at any time these types of disasters that are coming and uh, these systems that are coming, we pray that Allah grant us a protection, grant us uh, immense light and for a reason that, Ya Rabbi if we're going to die alhamdulillah we're going to go as shaheed. But if we're to be alive, Ya Rabbi, we want to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam, to be with those whom are in your divinely love and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad love of Ahlul Bayt and love of the Holy Companions. So, so many things to open upon this earth and you see them opening very quickly. Within a day an entire country is in a different shape and different form. So means that at every moment something going to happen and every type of difficulty opening upon this earth. We pray that Allah guide us and protect us. We know that from Mawlana Shaykh's teaching that to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam is to have good character, to spread a path of love and good adab, good manners, to avoid fitna, name calling and all sorts of bad mannerisms that's not going to be with Sayyidina Mahdi salam. And the good whom are good help those whom are not good. That if we know teach, if we have give, it's an important time to earn the credit of Allah the blessings of Allah with good character. We pray that Allah count us amongst the good and those whom love Sayyidina Muhammad and have the love an immense love for Ahlul Bayt and the reality of Sahib Zaman, Sahib of Sahib al Imdad, Sayyidina Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Bi Hurmati Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Bi Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alayhi salam, Bi Siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. 
Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.